Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to give you a brief tour of the Power BI desktop. The first time you load the Power BI desktop tool, this is the screen that you see. It's kind of like a getting started splash screen. It shows you different links on the right here. There is a link that says what's new. So you can take a look to see what has improved within the tool. And then there is a link to a forum. Power BI has an active, vibrant community that you can visit in case you have issues with Power BI desktop and you may be able to get some help from the community. The Power BI also has a blog to keep up to date with the latest news and resources and updates of both the Power BI desktop and the Power BI service. The team keeps the blog up to date with information about new releases and also to let you know if there are any updates. They normally have a update for the desktop tool every month and for the Power BI service, there's usually some kind of update every week. So I would recommend that you regularly check back and see if there's any updates. Sometimes when you launch the Power BI desktop, you will get a pop-up on your screen to tell you there's been a new update or a new version and you'll be prompted to download. There's also a link to a tutorial. So if you want to know more about the Power BI tool, you can click on the tutorial link. There are various resources, various videos here as well for you to watch. If you want to view all the videos, just click on this view all and you can see all the videos and resources available for you to learn more about the Power BI desktop. If you don't want this splash screen to show up each time you launch the Power BI desktop, you can uncheck it just by removing the check from this box that says show the screen on startup. On this side of the screen here, we've got the Power BI desktop and we have different links. This get data is basically if you want to connect to a data source in order to interact with some data. So any data sources that you've used recently will be listed here. You can see here, I've got all these files listed here. These are all the data sources I have interacted with recently. And then if you want to open other reports, you can click on it by using this link. So let's click on this get data link and see what it looks like. Click on that and it will open up a page here, this window here. Now you can connect to different data sources. So you can connect to a file, you can connect to a database, you can connect to Power BI, you can connect to Azure online services and also other data sources. So you've got Excel here, you've got CSV and so on. So there is a whole range of data sources you can connect to using the Power BI desktop. So once you find a data source you want to connect to, for example, if I wanted to connect to an Excel file and make sure I have that selected and you click on this connect button and that will take you to that file. So I'm going to cancel this to escape this scene. And then this is the main interface. So if you see here, it says untitled, which means this Power BI desktop file has not been saved. So when you are working with Power BI files, it's always good to save your file to something relevant to what you are doing. And this area here is just the ribbon area, it contains different tools and icons that you can work with. And on the left here, we've got different views. The default view is the report view. After the report view, you've got the data view, and then you've got the model view. This area here is obviously the canvas. This is where you create visualization of the data that you have imported into your Power BI desktop. So we've got different visualization here that you can use to create visualizations from the data you have imported. So we've got things like 
stacked bar chart, stack column chart, and so on. So depending on what type of visuals you want to create, these are the tools that you can use. Okay, you can also filter information here and you can drill through the data that you have in order to create different types of visualization. On the startup splash screen, there is a link I showed you earlier where you can click to get data. You can also get data from within the Power BI desktop interface from here. So if you click on this option here, there are different data sources you can connect to. You can click more and that will launch this interface where you can select the type of data source you want to connect to. So that is it for this video. This was just a quick introduction to the Power BI Desktop interface. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.